Giving Dave a big hug. Mm, Dave. Mm. No, the other Dave. Oh. Dave, Dave. Oh, Dave before it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah not so much Dave here. No. Well, Dave was it Dave from the bus? No. No, no the door's Barry Harold. Oh, yeah. Barry. I was talking about Dave the cat. I thought you were talking about Dave from the bus. I was talking Dave the toilet. We have Jesus a Dave Christ. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the guy who gets on from that. He's video. not called Dave, it's that dude who we don't know. Oh, wait, tell me his name. Yes, the guy that said it's Louis to him. I think it yeah. might be Matt. Yeah. Matt. Matt, Matt, that's, that's, Matt, that's it. Right, yeah. but I like calling him Dave. Yeah, fuck it, call him Dave. He suits Dave. Yeah. Angus. Oh, uh, Angus. I mean Angus. <laughs> Angus Ferguson. <laughs> <laughs> he, he saw, um, he listened to our podcast last time. Did he? Did he? This one. Shout, Shout out to out Angus to Ferguson. Angus Ferguson. No, he's AKA J. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's not happy with us. We're going to get some serious beef. Oh. oh. We're going to get grilled, man. Angus oh. He's going to oh, grill us. He's going to put us in a bun. That was a <laughs> well done joke right there. <laughs> Them occasions are pretty rare. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. History yeah. emotion. And the thing is, it's not even that his name's Angus, it's just the fact that he's born in Aberdeen. <laughs> yeah. It makes it perfect. You just go up to him. <laughs> Aberdeen Angus <laughs> Ferguson. Speaking of Scotland, Jack Smith, what do you reckon was the last thing he ate? Angus. <laughs> you can't eat iron brew but haggis is political he has this theory that haggis are actually animals and he really believes that haggis are animals he told me the story about how haggis when animals he, how when he was like a little kid he was like driving down from Scotland when he was like moving to England and he, he saw a like, haggis he saw the haggis playing in the fields and I was like Jack what do they look like he's like they're kind of like round they got like four legs kind of like a little bit of sheep I'm like Jack <laughs> they, they were, were sheep, sheep. <laughs> yeah, they probably were sheep there's no such thing as haggis he's like you don't know you've never been to Scotland I was born there <laughs> <laughs> oh wow oh he's mental Segway <laughs> <laughs> Subway Subway which is that Subway say? Yeah. did I miss something <laughs> you know, I didn't actually know that you could get like a sausage sandwich from Subway I what? thought it was just yeah. lettuce and stuff. And green oh, stuff. Oh, so you can go up to Subway and be like, can I have a tub of mayonnaise and <laughs> eight <laughs> French sticks with lettuce? <laughs> in a sub. Huh? No, in a I've sub. never had a Subway. <laughs> I've never had a Subway. Either. That's the reason I don't go to Subway, because I thought exactly. it was just lettuce and stuff. Yeah. But he actually had, like, you could get meat in that in your Subway sandwiches. Yeah. I might actually go there now. You get meatballs in there. Oh, I didn't know that. I want to get like a subway with like meatballs, no meatballs yeah, it's lettuce. just lettuce in a piece of bread. Pepperoni. Yeah, but that's all like I all see nice people eat. Stuffs. The only time I see people eat subway is my mum or my sister, and because they're women, all they eat is fruit and vegetables and shit. <laughs> women and carrot sticks. Know your limits. <laughs> like you know, when like there's an office sat in, and you got the guy who comes in with his lunch. He's got like yeah, he's got a sandwich. He's got like, like crisps stuff. and stuff and chocolate and that. And then like you got the lady comes in, and she opens a little tub. And starts eating carrot sticks and like little discs of cucumber. He's like, okay. What's up with that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't get it. You've like massive ladies are coming with like six bags of carrot sticks. I'm on a diet today. Today, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow I'm gonna wreck my rectum. Then you gotta be back on the kick. <laughs> <laughs> Do you reckon the Loch Ness monster is real? No. Are you serious? I used to have a theory about this. Like, I don't actually think it is <laughs> real. But if it was, <laughs> if it was right, do you reckon it's just like a dinosaur that's lived in a cave for ages? Like, <laughs> no, like, uh, like, no, like, it's the last of its like sort of line of dinosaur people because yeah, well, it's just sort of like it's like it's like family tree, if you will, like dinosaur family tree, <laughs> like as just live. In the lot, like the cave in the Loch Ness area, like forever, and then do people think, just do you think the Loch Ness monster is a dinosaur. Probably. How old do you reckon dinosaurs would live for? Or a squid? Not as long as the Loch Ness monster. Probably a squid. I've been around since like eighteen fifties. <laughs> <laughs> just that. Like Bigfoot. I saw him again last year. He'd be like, he must be about one hundred and twenty now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got grey fur now. It's like if we live for yes, about, yeah. on average, 85 years, and we're the most advanced <laughs> peop- beings yeah. on the planet, well, the dinosaurs, like, like, mili- like not millions yeah. of years? No. You've got that jellyfish that can that has no lifespan whatsoever, it can keep, because yeah. its cells regenerate. Sharks can live for a long time as well, can't they? Mm. Like a really long time. It is the longest living species. I'm 
sure the jellyfish. Tortoise or tail. The t- jellyfish. Tortoise, actually. Maybe so. No, because you got that one. I keep. I just said the jellyfish that has the regenerating cells. He doesn't die. So yeah, they could just say bacteria. Want, sometimes they just die. Yeah. They eat my thing. What would be stupid enough to eat a jellyfish? Someone who fancies a. Well, they just be like, oh, you dick. You've been living for 4,000 years. Like, no. It so maybe it's like <laughs> the jellyfish is like a human equivalent to a curry. Oh, it's tea for him. Oh, a bit hot. Yeah. Hot and spicy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or just annoying. We'll go with that one. Yeah. Something like that. Wait, I, I want to know who found out that piss will stop hurting a jellyfish thing. <laughs> I want to know who was in that situation <laughs> to like actually think to piss on him. Oh no, man! The jellyfish gone stain me. Oh, what am I gonna do? Hell, man! I know what you do. I just pee on your face, boy. Yeah. <laughs> that actually works. <laughs> yeah, I do reckon he just like had a they're like good friends, but he had a resentment for him and didn't like yeah. him. Yeah. So he just like, he took that. Ob- yeah, like so he took that opportunity to piss on him, <laughs> like at his weakest point. Yeah. It's like, oh, I've been stung by a jellyfish, man. I can't walk. It's like, I'm gonna piss on him. <laughs> He's like, no, don't piss on me, you dick. He's like, I'm pissing on you. It's like, hey man, this is actually kind of helping quite a bit. So thanks for this. It's like, it's, uh, it's alright, man. What I kind of whenever I want. stereotypical <laughs> accents are you doing? I have no idea. I'm thinking like dumbass American. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm going for. Like someone just is really stupid. Yeah. <laughs> so I was watching Pointless today. It's a celebrity children eat one. Oh and God. And it was, when it was about Barack Obama when I said this. No, I said, and more people in America, well, not America, but more people in the UK knew who Barack Obama's wife was compared to where he actually lives. <laughs> he lives in the White House? Yeah. The pre- these more people knew that what the president's wife was rather than where every generic president lives. In America, 50% <laughs> of people don't believe in evolution. <laughs> Oh. And that was taken from like a server. I've told you my theory on all that stuff, and I. Maybe. I don't care. Yeah. Because <laughs> whatever it is, evolution or Adam and Eve and shit, that's happened ages ago. Yeah. So it doesn't really affect me, so I don't really <laughs> give a shit. It's like, um, you know, do you ever see that TV pro- program Sherlock? Because you, you know, you're kind of like Sherlock. Mm. They're like making fun of him because, like, oh, dude, you don't know the Earth goes around the sun, and he's like, it's trivial, not important to me. I live to solve mysteries. <laughs> yeah, like. I I don't take that much interest in things that have already happened. Yeah. Like the only reason I take it like the past into account is if like I could use it to predict sort of future stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, something like that. That's how I do Sherlock stuff. Yeah, I completely agree. Like I'll be like, this thing. happened. So in his mindset, this would be a good idea. So he'll probably go with that decision, mm, which means he'll do it. this. And then I'll just be like, alright, he's going to do that, and then he'll do it. It's really weird. <laughs> Mind blowing. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Right. I think on that note, the tea is cool then. Yeah. Oh, we we hunger. Good. Yes. We've got to get our fix. Uh, well, Elliot's fix. I want, I want a, a three. Get drunk. I want a, I want yeah. a three. Hi. Right, what are we doing? Oh, okay. It's say goodbye, people. Good. <clears throat> Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Off with the podcast.